Now, the Abhidhamma is not something completely different from what, a, what is found in the suttas. There are many suttas which have a clear Abhidhamma um, tone to them. Perhaps the best example is the Dhammapada. First two verses, I'm sure, are familiar to at least some of you. All mental states have mind as their forerunner. Mind is chief, mind made are they. If one speaks or acts with a defiled mind, suffering follows one, even as the wheel follows the hoof of the draught ox. And the second verse is the mirror image. All mental states have mind as their forerunner, mind is their chief, mind made are they. If one speaks or acts with a pure mind, happiness follows one, even as one's shadow, which does not leave one. And of course, the image of pulling the wheel and then the cart attached to it, that's a lot of hard work, which comes from speaking or acting with an impure mind. Whereas taking your shadow with you, no problem. Nobody complains about my shadow is so heavy. So we can say that Abhidhamma looks at things in more detail than the suttas. If you think about the suttas looking at things with the normal eye, Abhidhamma is looking at things with a magnifying glass, seeing more detail. Or if you think about um, a container of some substance, the container, we think we know what this is, but if you look at the label, it gives us the precise formulation of what has gone into this container. So the Abhidhamma is like that, a very clear, precise um, investigation. And there are two ways in which this investigation works. We talk about analysis and synthesis. First of all, the Abhidhamma is an intense analysis of states of mind and body. It details things in um, terms of um, what we call ultimates, which I'll explain in a moment. But also, it is a synthesis in that it shows that nothing arises or exists independently. It does have to have a process of causation. Everything depends upon some prior cause. And in turn, it goes on to cause something else. So nothing exists independently. Nothing arises just by itself. And the best example we have of that kind of doctrine is the doctrine of conditioned genesis or dependent 
origination. Is that a concept which is foreign to anybody? Please say. Everybody happy with Bhatitsa Samupada. Okay. So that's where we can see that everything arises due to a previous cause and it goes on to be the cause for something else to arise. And in the same way, the Abhidhamma illustrates to us the interconnectedness of both mental and physical qualities. <coughs> 